Hi guys, here's Ender 6 uh, in action uh, with Hemera in my new ball bearing uh, ball bearing spool holder. This is great because there's no tension on here and, and let me just wait until this thing pulls it. And you'll see when it needs more spool, it'll just simply pull it. Slide it real, so let me show you that again. Look at that. So absolutely no tension in the filament. Now this is not going to make a huge difference in my opinion with uh, PET G or any of the harder materials. But I really wanted to use th this for actually uh, TPU material because I wanted to print some um, large volume TPU. But go ahead and see there's no tension. Um, again I need to upgrade this to be a little bit higher. I don't like the path being a little too low, so I might make a custom filament path that goes all the way up here maybe, so it goes straight down. Uh, that's going to be kind of interesting. But uh, wait for it, and the weight, the ball bearings are very, very smooth. And when, the, when it needs filament, it will just pull just ever so slightly. Give it a second here. Oh, we'll have to make. Let's go look at some of the quality. Um, I think the quality could be improved a little bit, but I've really optimized everything. Uh, the clipper settings, uh, measure the stuff. Um, I have done try to do ringing tests, but there was actually no ringing when I did the test. See that? So that that pulls it out real smooth there. Uh, again, this is going to work out really good for TPU material. Um, yeah, but I want to print some TPU, but I ran out of all my TPU material, so I'll have to wait. But we go ahead and print out some really uh, bigger ones. One thing I really like about the Ender 6 still, even though I have three Prusas, is obviously the print volume. Prusa, I'm just really limited. It's only 210, 220, 220 by 210. This is almost 400, so you almost get double. Um, so right now I'm trying to make something that's longer than 210. And I'm literally limited there, and I need to go with something like 300, maybe 350. And in that regards, uh, the Enders are actually very, uh, very good deal if you don't want to spend a ton of money. Uh, but you want to print something large, which I got this initially anyways. Um, I've also got... Uh, the Voron 2.4 350 by 350 by 350 printer parts that arrived today. I'm going to still start building that probably after I build up the uh, Prusa clone, which probably should be shorter since I built that already. But that's going to be another challenge. It's going to maybe take me another two weeks to finish both of those projects. Uh, but subscribe to follow my adventures with 3D printing. Yay.